Hello everyone, let's continue game making series. In the previous video, we made a moving platform. In this video, we will add some aesthetic to the game by using trail renderer. So, the game will become more attractive. In the next video, we are gonna do dust generation when the player falls to the ground, moves and hits the wall. Actually, we learned how to create trail effect before. We apply what we learned to the game. And of course, we will learn a lot of new things in this game making series. Ok, let's start. First, I'll give a small update to the scene. I want the camera to get a little closer to the player. So I'm gonna reduce the size value of the camera. Start the game. This close is fine. Select the player and add trail renderer component. I'll set the width value according to the player. We can set the duration of the effect with time value. I set the value to time for now. A pink image appears because the component doesn't have any material yet. We have to add material to the component. I'm gonna set the material to sprite with default. As you can see, the color of the effect has changed to white. Now we can change the color of the effect as we want. I'll just change the alpha value for have a transparent appearance towards the end of the effect. You can add new key by double click on the line or by right click. And customize it according to the shape you want to create. I am trying to find the ideal time value. I guess 0.3 is fine. As you can see, the trail effect occurs in front of the player. I'll increase the ordering layer to put the player in front of the trail effect. Now the player is in front of the effect. Start the game. Nice, the game has become more aesthetic. In the next video, we will make the game more aesthetic using the particle system. I hope the video was helpful for you. For more videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.